Okay, here's a little gotcha with the effect control panel. So um, no matter if you have a layer selected, everybody go command zero, command zero. So command zero is your project panel. It brings this up. Now, um, press F2 to deselect any layer or click. So if you have a layer selected, press F2 to deselect it, right? Now, if you want to get to your effect control panel, you're going to press F3. But I'm pressing it and nothing happens. And that's because you don't have a layer selected. So if you have a layer selected and then you press F3, the effect control panel will show up. So there's a little gotcha there. So no layer selected. If you have no layer selected, pressing F3 doesn't do anything. You have to have the layer selected. All right, so anyway, select your layer, go to the uh, effect control panel over here. And this particular uh, uh, plugin, or not plugin, this particular effect um, has a blur. So the way you change it is you just simply see this number here, just click and drag to the right and it'll change the blur effect. Okay. Um, and then you, there's other, there's other uh, parameters you can change, the iterations. Now that's really, really touchy, right? So once you start dragging it, it, it gets quite big and the effect is quite, quite uh, dramatic. So let's change that back down to one. If you want to scrub slower, hold down your shift key. Actually, holding down your shift key makes it go faster. Hold down your command key, is it? Yes, hold down your command key. Now, it'll as you scrub, it'll scrub slower. So the, holding down the command key while you scrub goes slower. Holding down the shift key will make it go a whole lot faster. All right, whenever you want to change the parameters. Um, for this particular parameter, it has it can blur in both vertical and, and horizontal. If you just do horizontal, you can see that the blur effect is only in the horizontal direction. Um, obviously, vertical only in the vertical direction. Okay, so that that's that this particular plugin. What is this repeating edge pixels? Well, well take your thing and, and blur it quite a lot. And assuming that you have your footage either fitting to the to the edge of the the uh, I guess what you call the canvas so the composition um, fitting to the top and bottom or right and left you'll see this black black happening here what's happening there is that that's actually being transparent and how do we know it's transparent if you if you're in your composition panel make sure you're in composition panel right here next to active cap camera there's a button that shows transparency you can see that this is being transparent Okay, so what does this repeating edge pixels do? It basically eliminates the um, the transparency on the edge there. So once you turn that on, then the transparency on the edge goes away because it's repeating the edge pixels. So then, once you turn this transparency off, then it's no longer black on the edges. So that's what that does. That's what this particular one does.